Welcome to Miss K's math class. In today's video, we will look at dividing fractions. To divide by a fraction, we need to multiply by the reciprocal of that fraction. So notice the word multiply here. When we are trying to divide, so there is a division sign, we will need to multiply once we find the reciprocal of the second fraction. So two important things here, that we will need to find the reciprocal of the fraction and multiply. Now what is a reciprocal? Reciprocal of a fraction simply means you need to inverse it. So for example, if I have 2 over 3, the reciprocal of 2 over 3 means I have to inverse, so make it go upside down. So that'll become 3 over 2. So 2 over 3, the reciprocal of 2 over 3 is equal to 3 over 2. Another example could be if I have 5 over 7 and I want to find the reciprocal of 5 over 7, I simply need to find the inverse, so flip, so it becomes 7 over 5. So 5 over 7 and 7 over 5 are reciprocals. So going back to our formula here, where we have a over b divided by c over d, what happens is I will need to first find the reciprocal of my second fraction. So the reciprocal of c over d means they just need to switch places, so it becomes d over c. My first fraction is the same, a over b. And then I will need to multiply by the reciprocal. So now it's going to look like a over b times d over c. Once we have fractions timesing together, we need to multiply the numerator by numerator and denominator by denominator. So it's going to be a times d on top and b times c on the bottom. So it's going to be ad over bc. Now let's take a look at an example with the numbered fractions. So we have 3 over 4 divided by 5 over 7. First step, find the reciprocal of the second fraction. Then you need to times it. So I'm going to first leave my first fraction of 3 over 4 as it is. And I know that I will need to change this division sign to a times. So I'll multiply. Then I need to find the reciprocal of 5 over 7. And how I do that is to find the inverse, just so just flip it, so it becomes 7 over 5. Now that I have two fractions timesing together, I will times the numerator by itself and the denominator. And so 3 times 7 is 21, and the bottom 4 times 5 is 20. In this example, we have 1 over 3 dividing by 1 over 8. So we will change this division sign to a times, and we will times it by the reciprocal of the second fraction. So what is the reciprocal of 1 over 8? We know that we need to make it upside down, so it becomes 8 over 1. Then we will times it, and the first fraction of 1 over 3 stays as it is. So now I can rewrite this as 1 over 3 times 8 over 1. Now I will times my numerators together, so 1 times 8, and my denominators together 3 times 1. So it becomes 8 over 3. In my next example, I have 5 over 6 dividing by 3. Notice that this 3 is a whole number, and I want to first represent this 3 as a fraction form. And for me to do that, I just simply need to put a 1 underneath. So it's going to look like 5 over 6 divided by 3 over 1. So 3 is the same as 3 over 1. And if I were to just give you a quick revision on that, any number can be written as that number over 1. So for example, if I have 5, I can rewrite this as 5 over 1, and that's the same as 5 divided by 1, and that equals to 5, and so they are all the same. Another example could be if I have 7, 
I can write this as 7 over 1. So going back to my question here, that's the first step. I have 5 over 6 divided by 3 over 1. Now I will find the reciprocal of my second fraction, 3 over 1, and then I will times that. So keeping my fr first fraction of 5 over 6 as it is, I will times that by the reciprocal of my second fraction, where I will just make it go upside down. 3 over 1 now becomes 1 over 3. Then I can now times the numerator by numerator and denominator by denominator. So it becomes 5 times 1 over 6 times 3. And the answer is 5 times 1 is 5, 6 times 3 is 18. So 5 over 18. In this question, I have 8 divided by 4 over 5. The 8 is a whole number, so I will first start by writing that as a fraction by putting 1 underneath. So that can be written as 8 over 1 divided by 4 over 5. Next, in order to divide by a fraction, I will need to times by its reciprocal. So I'm going to change this division sign into times and find the reciprocal of 4 over 5. And so I keep my first fraction of 8 over 1. Then I need to change my division sign to a times. And what is my reciprocal of 4 over 5? What happens when you swap places? It becomes... 5 over 4. Now that I have two fractions being multiplied, my next step is to times the numerators together and times the denominators together and find the answer. 8 times 5 equals to 40 and 1 times 4 equals to 4. Here we have a question with a mixed number dividing by a proper fraction. Whenever we have a mixed number and we're trying to do something with it, first step is to convert it into an improper fraction. So if I have a mixed number, I will need to have that converted into an improper fraction first before I do something. So that's the first step. And how I do that is first, I will need to keep my denominator. So my denominator is still three and I need to times. So 3 times 1 and add 1. So 3 times 1 is 3 and plus 1 to that 3 is a 4. So my numerator is 4. So it means that 1 and 1 third is the same as 4 over 3. Now that I have my improper fraction written down, I will write the rest of the question which is divide by 3 over 4. Now, if I have two fractions and I'm trying to divide them, I need to multiply by the reciprocal of the second fraction. So keeping the first fraction as it is, 4 over 3, then I will times it by the reciprocal of the second fraction. What is the reciprocal of 3 over 4? Where you simply have to just make it go upside down and swap places, it becomes 4 over 3. We will then need to times the numerators together and the denominators together. So 4 times 4 over 3 times 3. 4 times 4 equals to 16. And 3 times 3 equals to 9. Here's my last question for the day. I have two mixed numbers and they're going to divide. So the first mixed number will have to change into an improper fraction. The second mixed number will also need to change into an improper fraction, then we will divide. So, keeping the denominator 3 as it is, I need to times and then plus to get the numerator. So 3 times 1 is 3, plus the 2 is 5. So my first mixed number of 1 and 2 over 3 is now written as 5 over 3. Second fraction over here, I have 2 and 3 over 4. So how do I change this one into an improper fraction? First step is to keep the denominator as it is. So I will put a 4. Then I will need 2 times. 
So 4 times 2 is equal to 8. And then plus the 3, so it is 11. Then we can divide. So now I have 5 over 3 divided by 11 over 4. So I will begin by keeping my first fraction as it is, 5 over 3. Then I know that I need to times by the reciprocal of my second fraction. So write time sign. Then find the reciprocal of 11 over 4 simply by inversing the side. So it becomes 4 on top and 11 on the bottom. Now that I have 5 over 3 times 4 over 11, I can times the numerators together and I can times the denominators together. 5 times 4 equals 2, 20, and 3 times 11 equals 2, 33. I hope you found today's lesson on dividing fractions helpful. Like and subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.